Hey, so what's going on everybody? So I just have another video to share with you guys on how to reinstall Windows XP onto your computer. So it doesn't really matter if you guys have like a custom built system, a laptop, a desktop, this will work just fine as long as you have uh, a CD or DVD and a valid product key, which is like the certificate of authenticity. And that's like a small sticker you'll find on the outside of a computer case or underneath on your laptop somewhere, maybe under the laptop in the battery compartment area. It'll be a small sticker. It'll say Windows XP Professional on it. It'll say Windows XP Home Edition on it. It could be 32-bit, it could be 64-bit. It really doesn't matter what version. What I'm showing you in this video will work for your Windows XP computer. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have the product key matches the, the DVD that you have. Now I have a backup copy, a genuine copy made of Windows XP Professional 32-bit and it's the OEM version so and real quick on this system I have Windows XP Pro 32-bit installed and that's what we're going to be doing the video on and I'm running a Dell Optiplex 760 desktop computer to do the installation on now I'm going to pretend that this system is running slow has viruses spyware malware whatever that there's all kinds of pop-ups down the lower right corner and I can't get rid of that stuff and it's really annoying you know so we're gonna basically wipe everything out and start fresh clean format whatever so in your my documents folder or wherever you have pictures videos music and files make sure you go in and get that stuff copy it over to a flash drive or an external hard drive make sure you back all that up before doing this because when you do this it will wipe the computer out and you will lose that stuff unless you back it all up so make sure that you guys have all of your stuff backed up and yes I do know that Windows XP is no longer supported but I still think a lot of people may have not even changed over yet to a newer operating system maybe some businesses I don't know but I know Windows XP professional was an absolute wonderful program wonderful operating system I always loved using it um, so I want to play around with some new software I had so I thought I'd just do a video on it and I wanted to get it added to my playlist so um, we'll go ahead and get on with this and uh, just make sure everything's backed up guys before you go in and do this um, real quick before I do restart the computer my BIOS for this computer is set to boot from DVD so you're gonna see a pop-up on my screen say press any key to boot from DVD I already have the DVD in the drive and I have my product key ready to go to enter for during installation so um, if you guys are having trouble getting your computer to boot from the Windows DVD, you're going to have to enter your system setup, which is called the BIOS. And you can get into that by pressing, it's usually escape on the keyboard or F1 or F2. And it's, it's usually either one of those keys. And what you have to do is restart your computer and uh, right before your computer like starts up, like as soon as you restart it you have to start pressing escape repeated repeatedly or f1 repeatedly or f2 it's one of the three buttons usually or when your boot screen comes up you'll see it say system setup press f2 or f12 for boot options you know that's how you're going to get in to make changes or be able to select to be able to boot from dvd all right so i'm going to restart we're going to get started because i know xp is a long gone done deal but I still like it. I know they don't support it anymore. It still works as an operating system. And this video, I'm doing it just for fun. So maybe it'll help somebody out. All right, so press any key to boot from CD, which I'm going to press enter. And we'll just sit through this real quick until we get to the screen where we can delete the partition and create a new one and then format. To some of you, this is probably old stuff. I don't know, maybe some of you came across my video. This may be, might be something new you're doing, but. All right, so set up a starting Windows. All right, now you gotta read through some of this stuff. Um, I mean, I could go through it quickly, but you'd wanna take your time here and just follow what I'm doing. To set up Windows XP, you wanna press enter. We're not going to repair Windows, which is the second option there. We're just going to do a complete wipeout. So this here is just the license agreement. You just press F8. Now in here it says to repair the selected Windows XP installation, press R. We're not repairing this installation. 
Um, we are going to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows, which is the second option. So I'm going to press Escape. Now in here, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select back and forth. It's already highlighted, uh, which would be that one. The C drive, which is your main hard drive, partition one. Okay, that's already selected. So to set up Windows XP on the selected item, press enter. We don't want to do that just yet. What you want to do first is the third option there. And it says to delete the selected partition, press D. So we want to make sure we are on, you know, you can use the arrow keys to make sure you're on this one, the one that says C, and you want to press delete. Okay, and it's going to ask you again to delete this partition, press enter. And I'm going to press enter because that's what I want to do. And it's going to ask us again one more time to delete this partition, press L. And it says caution all data on this partition will be lost. So you want to press L. Now we just deleted everything on the hard drive, it's gone. And we are left with one selection there highlighted, it says unpartitioned space. So what you guys want to do here is you don't set up Windows on... Um, this particular thing. What you want to do is the second option. It says create a partition. So you press C. Okay, and it says to create the new partition, enter a size below and press enter. We're just going to leave it selected at the size that it's at. That's usually what you do, default, and just press enter. Okay, so there you can see partition one, new raw. Okay, and we just simply leave that highlighted. Because now that we created a partition on this hard drive, we want to format the partition. So to set up Windows XP on the selected item, press Enter. Now we can press Enter. Now here's some other options. Um, these two options down here, FAT is an older file allocation system. We're not going to use that. NTFS is what you want to go with. Um, I would choose the ones that have quick over on the very right there in parentheses. Um, because these ones down here are basically going to take a lot longer to do and it's just basically checking that drive for bad sectors don't need to do that just do NTFS quick is the one you want to select and now we are reinstalling well actually it is formatting the partition first and then we are rein then we are going to basically be reinstalling Windows XP professional onto our hard drive here So all the stuff we just went through, um, some people may do that just a bit different, but I would do it that way. I've done it different, but the way I just went through it now is almost for sure to work every time. And like I said, you you, you know, if you know that you have a good working hard drive hardware-wise, like you've tested your hard drive for bad sectors, anything like that, then you can just choose the quick install and go right on through the setup program. Nice. All right, please wait while setup continues. Okay, so what we are going to do here is reboot the computer. If you guys see it come up, press any key to boot from CD. Don't press any key to boot from CD a second time. You only do that one time in the very beginning. All right, so now we're going through the installation and it's installing Windows onto the computer. Okay, so now we are at the regional and language options and everyone knows how to go through here pretty much. I'm just gonna click next and the name that you give the system here will be the actual computer name on your network. So I'm going to go ahead and name mine and click next and now we have to enter the product key okay so i got the product key entered and i click next and i came to this screen which is computer name and administrator password and here you just click next unless you want to change anything around but i don't so here you just select what relates to your area and mine is eastern time and click next I believe we're going to get one more pop-up, something about network settings. And usually I just click Next on that as well. Yep, 
Yep, typical settings. Um, go ahead here and just click next. You can always change this stuff later. Um, work group, I always leave that set as a work group, especially on Windows XP Professional. And click next. Okay, so we are down to one minute, removing any temporary files used. Now it says press any key to boot from CD, which we do not want to do. We just want to let the computer reboot on its own. And just go ahead and click OK. Then we should be booting up to the desktop pretty quick. Oh gosh, I really miss it. All right, so here just click next. And I always select help protect my PC. Next. I sure do miss it. Windows XP Pro. You can just select yes for this one or skip it. Click next. Um, you can choose if you know you have a, a computer that's connected with the, to the internet right now, you can just choose to activate Windows over the internet now. Um, register online, I always select no, so I don't get a bunch of pop-ups about registration or registering with Microsoft, then click Next. Username, I'm just gonna go ahead and name it Jamie. That is for my user account. Here you can set up all your user accounts. You can put like all the kids' names, Graham's name, aunts, uncles, whoever you want in there, whoever lives in the house. Okay, so thank you. And the old boot up sounds of Windows XP Pro, or just Windows XP in general. Okay, so here we are at the desktop. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I have for you for the video. One thing I always like to do with XP is right click over on, on the uh, big button here and left click properties and select classic menu and click apply because that always puts the icons automatically up here on the desktop for me. It brings me back to the old style start button way of doing things that I enjoy doing how I like to do it but I have my own preferences and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed the video basically we're back at the desktop now you get to have the fun of copying your data back to your computer all your pictures and I always disable this stuff all your pictures and and uh videos and all the good stuff that you guys copied off your computer you can copy back over to your computer now another thing you guys really quick you might want to check is the device manager because more than likely if you just wiped your computer out your printer and other things may not work right away until you reinstall that stuff with the disks that came with it and that goes to for all the software that you had on your computer too like software to burn dvds and cds any additional you know things you installed on your computer after the fact before we did this wipeout you have to reinstall everything so um, there's some drivers here that this needs to find yet or that you know i need to get installed on here so down here is the it's already downloading windows updates that was the little badge that popped up there. So I'll go in real quick to the control panel and switch to classic view. And I just want to take a look at Windows updates because this is what you want to do next is go in and make sure that um, your automatic updates are turned on. So you get this little badge down here. And I usually do a custom install here, click next. And what you want to do then is go through and install all these updates because there's going to be several with Windows XP. I'm not going to do them right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video up and let you guys go. Um, 
thanks a lot for watching the video guys um, leave any questions or comments i can do more videos or another video in response to this if we miss something or you're still wondering about something or having issues uh, please let me know please like subscribe comment and um, i really appreciate you guys for watching and i hope you're making out okay with your computer good luck copying all your data back over thanks guys have a good one